What's going on, everyone? Mad Chad 412 here, back at it on YouTube. Want to thank uh, everyone for subscribing. We are up uh, almost a hundred subscriptions from about a month ago. Obviously, I, I want to continue doing that, and I think we will. Uh, I'm still working on doing a giveaway coming up pretty soon. Uh, that is definitely going to be happening on my end. Um, but today we got some news, Penguins news, and uh, from me, from my potential standpoint, not so much great news. Uh, this is from The Athletic, which I am a subscriber of, uh, and I uh, have some friends working there as well. What we're hearing as the Penguins talks heat up. Um, Josh, this is written by both Josh Joey and Rob Rossi, who cover the Penguins for The Athletic. Uh, they... Um, are reporting that the Penguins have not outright dismissed trading Rust. Now, take this with a grain of salt because just a week ago, Rossi was talking about how they're going to trade Jared McCann, and the next day they, they signed Jared McCann to a long-term deal. Or not a long-term deal, but a two-year extension. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, the, just because they're saying this, I mean, this could just be them, you know, Rutherford putting some, some chess pieces out there, some mental chess pieces out there saying, Hey, we might trade Brian Russ, blah, blah, blah. we're not really going to do it, but you know, that's guys that's uh, available. Um, a team source said Rutherford would be open to a deal if the return was significant and a league sources said any trade would need the net the Penguins, at least an NHL-ready player and a top prospect. The Penguins don't think Russ is untradeable, but any deal would require a substantial return. Well, I sure as hell hope so, because if we're going to go down here and look at Brian Russ's player card, and this is uh, from J, uh, J Fresh Hockey, who I'm also a Patreon supporter of. Uh, do Make sure this guy puts out really great stuff. Uh, uh, if you're a content creator, a blog, you know, a, a, a journalist, uh, a hockey writer, hockey blogger, or just someone that really likes uh, to know the uh, nuances in and out of uh, metrics, uh, this is definitely someone that you should subscribe to their work. I think it's like five bucks a month or something like that. Easy way to financially support uh, another great content creator. But he has these players cards and they really show in-depth analysis of a player, what their value is and how important they are to the team. And here's Brian Russ. Um, and you look at his, his, his play, even strength offense, even strength defense, power play, penalty kill. And then they do a three sated war, uh, goals above average, you know, uh, Brian Rust is an above average player. Is he an elite winger? Absolutely not. He's not someone that's going to drive play all the time, and he's not going to win any Selkie awards coming up anytime soon. But he is a good player. He is a substantially, he's a legit top six winger. If he's your team's second right wing, you're in a good position. And he led the team in goals this year. He was on pace to score 40 goals. He led the league in even strength goals, power play goals and overall goals, and was on pace to have a 40-goal, 70-point season. Even if Brian Russ regress, right? Let's just say he regress, and he uh, he regresses, and uh, his production goes down 50%. And to me, that would be insane. I mean, that's not going to happen, right? 50%. But let's just say that does happen, right? He goes down 50%. He would still be a 20-goal, 40-point guy at making $3.5 million. That's under the age of 30, that's signed to a team-friendly deal, and is under contract again next season as well. Well, why would you want to get rid of that guy? It makes no sense, especially, and like I said on Twitter today, I sure as hell hope that acquiring Casper Kapanen, which the Penguins did last month, I hope that, that isn't them saying, hey, we're going to, we're okay with training Russ because we acquired Kapanen because Brian Russ is a better player than Casper Kapanen. It's not even close, in my opinion. Not even close. Casper Kapanen played almost 100 more minutes 5 on 5, and Brian Russ had, had six more goals and, and six more points. Yeah, Brian Russ played with better, te better, better, better quality teammates, but. You could put Kapanen on Sidney Crosby's line. I don't think he would outperform what Brian Russ was doing this season. What's also scary about this is, and I'm going to uh, pull this up here in a second, is the Penguins. The Pittsburgh Penguins are expected to try clearing enough cap space to pursue Chris Tanev in free agency. Adding a right-handed defenseman is uh, the Penguins' top priority. Age not a concern. 
Jim Rutherford isn't opposed to giving a five-year deal. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, no shit. Looks at I'm a, looks at Brian, Jack Johnson's contract. Gets real sad real quick. So Chris Tanev, he is a a a third line defenseman, right? That's fine. He's 30 years old, and I showed earlier that his metrics, if we're looking at the metrics here, weren't that far away. They're a little bit better, but weren't that far away from Justin Schultz. A little bit better defensively, you know, a little less offensively. They're going to end up giving this guy like a five-year, four, five million dollar contract, and I'm going to cry. And I'm telling you right now, if the Penguins trade Brian Rust for a fucking draft pick and a player, and they sign Chris Tanev to a long-term deal, I mean, I'm going to fucking flip shit. I mean, do the Penguins just not want me to support their team? Because I really feel like that's what this is all happening about. This is fucking insanity. Jim Rutherford has taken this team and has completely deconstructed a championship team. It's fucking crazy. And it pisses me off. So... I'm going to go ahead and say that the Penguins should not trade Brian Rust. And that Chris Tanev and Jack Johnson is my third pairing. That is not anywhere near an upgrade of what you thought. Uh, this this is depressing. It's depressing news. I hope none of this shit happens. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised giving Rutherford's recent, uh, recent chain uh, of transactions... Uh, it, it, the Penguins just right now. This is the, we're starting to head to the dark ages. Uh, it, it was a great run, and uh, hopefully I'm wrong, but I doubt it. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you did not, hit the dislike button. It still counts towards my 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 metrics. Subscribe. That would be great. I will be doing a giveaway here. We're gonna do one, two, three. We're gonna do three giveaways once we get to 200 subscribers. We're gonna do for one for 100, 150, and 200. I'll have them all listed. I'll have some links below, and I'll have a new video out for you guys Thursday. See you out there.